I can't control everything. I can't control other people uh, in the way that I would like to. That's the rub right there of, you know, what happens to those people who are in a position of leadership or trying to start um, something either from the ground up or even if they come in and they're sort of uh, getting into a situation where they're either replacing or augmenting a team is that um, I think there's such a, especially like in this society where um, A-type personalities are rewarded for their atypicalness, um, that this idea of allowing or this idea of facilitating a process. I, you know, I like to think of, um, you know who I think of is the, uh, I forget his name, I'm sorry, but the CEO of JetBlue, who is very uh, famous for his, uh, his adult ADD diagnosis. Like he's out about it and it's bad, and he is the CEO of JetBlue. And the story goes that, you know, um, Ned Hallowell, who wrote a couple of the major books on ADD, uh, he's a Harvard psychiatrist, and he wrote a book called um, Driven to Distraction, which was about uh, childhood ADD, ADHD, and then uh, Delivered from Distraction was about adult ADD. And so he had a, more than one story. I think he used the CEO of JetBlue as a, an example. And he said that the two keys to being able to live with ADD, I know this is a slightly separate subject, but it's not at the same time, right? Is that um, one must have the right partner and the right job, right? So either it has to be a fellow ADD who doesn't mind, <laughs> sort of like squirrel, um, and or it has to be uh, someone who complements or kind of sort of balances that sort of thing. And then also there's the sort of depathologizing of it you know, that hopefully would happen within the relationship and which throughout the book, of course, you know, he, he does the same. Um, but anyway, so, so then there's the right job. And what is the right job? The right job is uh, an ADD person, um, according to Hallowell, uh, is, you know, can't focus on things that are boring. The ADD person is hyper-focused on those things that are awesome and exciting. So, finding something that is meaningful and that really works for the person, and then the willingness and the ability to delegate like crazy, right? And that's the, where the success is. So in a sense, like if, if you're talking about, like, you know, so I help run a healthcare business. So there's, there's a couple of things going on. One is we need to be attending to the clinical aspect, and that's most of what I'm in charge of. But, you know, we're also having to look at how to manage teams and how to bring people together and how to keep the, the business flowing. And the way that gets done is by having the right team members in the right places and the leaders are able to bring out that which is you know, uh, amazing in those people. And if I'm not doing that, if I'm trying to micromanage you know, everyone and trying to put people in boxes that match my vision, you know, which is not necessarily a, a vision, it's a control problem, um, then I'm just going to end up with, in my estimation, the business is going to flounder um, and, and I'm going to flounder because um, there's a number of, there's a number of uh, different spiritual literature places where you can read this, but this idea of, um, you know, I can't control everything. I can't control other people uh, in the way that I would like to. So I think, you know, that's where the burnout occurs. So I think, you know, even in a, in a business venture, you know, one uh, would be wise to step back um, and allow those people that have, they've surrounded themselves with to do their thing. And my, my role and the role that I have right now at, at Refuge Recovery is really mostly about visioning and supervising clinicians. And so the more that I vision, supervise clinicians, and then have everybody do their thing, I feel, you know, I go home at the end of the day and I'm not, you know, wishing I had a completely different career. <laughs> I I'm, I'm feel like I did something. Um, 
but mostly what I've tried to do is facilitate a process. So not everyone probably possibly has the same outlook, but maybe that's 20 years of, 28 years of Buddhist meditation. <laughs> yeah, that's my, uh, that's my view. That's maybe the skew that I have, but it feels like kind of like a healthy one. So.